It seems like ages ago when I made this spindle gouge from an old file. It worked great and the video I made about it was my most successful video for a long time. No idea why. Maybe it was my testing method or perhaps my awesome angle grinder skills. I will have to do some uh, testing to make sure it's safe to use. It hurts my hand. So there you have it. Scientific proof that it is safe to use this thing. With um, most of the serration gone, I'm going to start um, rounding off these sides. So, uh, so it's easier to move the, uh, well, to turn the tool on the uh, tool rest. After an hour, it looks like this. After a whole lot of angle grinding and making a handle with a split as end, came some testing. For a while it worked great. It cut through a fresh piece of wood like a hot knife goes through butter. At some point an early autumn storm uprooted an oak tree and I decided to try and make a bowl using my whipply wobbly wooden wood lathe. As you can see the bowl blank was somewhat out of balance. I actually had someone help and uh, switch the power on and off to keep the speed uh, down. At some point I had a major catch and here you can see the result. It was actually a bit scary when the uh, shit hit the fan, but uh, nothing really happened. I guess the file wasn't as safe as I uh, thought it would be, so I will not recommend using a file. But a little danger does make you feel alive. It certainly does make life a bit more fun. I did manage to rough turn that oak bowl. It has warped a little over the past year and it is now a bit oval shaped and you can actually see some light coming through a split in the wood. Hard to catch on camera. One day I will have to figure out how to mount this on the uh, Ramator wood lathe and uh, threw it up. This will be good practice for final turning that uh, plum tree bowl that I'm going to make. And here is the homemade spindle gouge in its current sad state. Let's try and see if I can uh, resurrect it. It should still be long enough for another round of fun. It's springtime in the Netherlands and we're having some great weather lately. So I dragged my work table outside and fixed the chisel to the table using an F clamp. Now I don't have to deal with all that grinding dust inside the old barn. I'm starting uh, sculpting a new tip. So how do you like my new red overalls? I feel a bit like a hipster and look like I'm ready to join the backbomb cult. You know the guys in uh, Oregon from the uh, Netflix uh, Wild Wild Country documentary. Here I'm switching from a slitting disc to a regular sized metal cutting disc. Trying to hollow out the file, but the F clamp is a bit in the way. After cutting off a piece of wood, I got some more room to maneuver. I switched to a flapper disc and now I'm grinding a bevel. And now I'm using an air tool with a pointy stone. Last time I used my Dremel but this works a lot better. But a bigger compressor would work even better. The one I have is a bit short of breath. Looks good, we're getting there.
Feels good. I think uh, it's now time to test it on a piece of firewood. Hammering in the dry spur. And putting some pressure on the tailstock life center. Lining up the tool rest. Moving to a slower belt position. And let's try this thing. Let go, you bastard. The tool rest kept moving under pressure. It could really use a better locking mechanism. The chisel works best if you hold it at a rather steep angle. The wood worked itself loose a bit, or maybe it's a problem with the tailstock locking mechanism. To be honest, I don't really like this style of uh, tailstock. Again, it moved. I wasn't really impressed with my chisel. In my memories, it worked a whole lot better. The wood was also surprisingly dry for a tree that was cut down maybe four months ago. Trying to improve the cutting edge with a stone and with a diamond hone. Don't worry, I'm not going to go Yakuza style on my thumb. Good, that seems to be sharper. Dribbling some linseed oil on the split as end. The split hasn't gotten any worse, so that's a good thing. After polishing up the tool, it still looks rather good and it should be ready for that plum tree ball blank. But first I need to finish making that wood screw chuck. Alright, that's it for me. Just a little hurdle on the road to making a plum tree bowl. Till next time and try to enjoy life a bit in this fucked up corona world.